Um, execution certainly matters a great deal. And I think that, that um, within your, your question is, in fact, a fact that uh, having simpler ideas that you can execute perfectly is sometimes better than having a grandiose idea that your company can not execute on. Okay, and so when you get large as a company and when you're trying to do complicated things, uh, in fact, it is best, it is most prudent to keep it simple. Many ideas surface, and, and a lot of people say, Jensen, why didn't you guys do this? Why didn't you do this? Or our engineers asking, you know, why didn't we put this feature in? We could have done all that. I mean, it wasn't because we didn't have the ability to have the, the idea. You have to decide as a company, you have to decide as an as a, uh, engineering team or, or as an innovator to say, you know what, I don't need to change the world overnight. I'm going to change the world over the next 50 years. I don't need to build a killer product overnight. I just need to build a winning product. And the goal of winning is so that you can play again. It's just like pinball. Okay? If you could just play well enough to get another game, you could be there for a long time. Most companies just need to realize that, in fact, this is a long road and that uh, you can't build that perfect product. So once you do that, then you keep the project's scope confined. You keep the project now simple. You have a long-term vision, but your project product definition is rather simple. You execute flawlessly on that because your people now can, can execute on a flawless, uh, a flawlessly on a simple plan, and uh, you come back and do it again. And so I think that, that that certainly is embedded in your question. Now, in terms of what got us uh, to be here, um, whereas, whereas in our industry, uh, certainly in Silicon Valley, the, the, uh, the discussion about, about the early days of 3D graphics and, and the, the, uh, the intense amount of competition in this industry, and yet NVIDIA survived uh, through it all, uh, there's been quite a bit of, of lore uh, uh, about that and quite a bit of written about that. Um, I would say that um, our company wanted it more than everybody else. I do believe that as, as a company and as, as an entrepreneur, you have to want to succeed more than your competitors want you not to. And that, that is, that is um, it's hard to teach. Uh, some people, somebody said recently that I'm the most tenacious CEO they've ever seen. I'm not exactly sure whether that's a compliment or not, but I'm certainly very, very, uh, my will to survive exceeds almost everybody else's will to kill me. And so I think that that's, that's probably appropriate.